Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about breathing in labour. Now that statement on its own sounds pretty ridiculous because of course you're going to breathe. It's a ridiculous thing to even think that you wouldn't breathe. But what I want to talk to you about is the benefits of breathing effectively. And I don't mean that you've got to learn some kind of complicated breathing technique because when a woman is in labour, the more you can get completely relaxed, completely instinctive, the better your body is going to be able to respond. So if you've got to learn some complicated technique, you're not going to be in your kind of subconscious primal state. So when it comes to breathing, there are a few really, really key things to remember. The first one is finding a rhythm. When you breathe in a rhythm, your body begins to increase the level of oxygen, increase the level of oxytocin, relax all the muscles, helps you to focus, helps you to feel in control, all of those things which are obviously going to be really, really beneficial during labour. So by breathing calmly, steadily and rhythmically, you're going to be able to stay in that nice, relaxed space. The next thing is to breathe deeply down to your baby, down to your abdomen. It's a really nice visualisation to do when you're breathing, to actually think about the breath going right down and filling your womb, filling your baby. So when I say deeply, it isn't just like an enormous breath, it's about breathing down. And when you breathe down, what happens is that your abdomen increases, your rib cage increases, which is obviously going to make a lot more space. I remember when I was having my babies, it was one of those really powerful, powerful things to feel how your breathing was changing, or my breathing was changing my body. So each time I would take a breath in, I would imagine everything expanding. And by expanding all of those muscles, expanding the rib cage, that would enable the uterus to have more space to have the contraction, to be able to open up the cervix. So as you start a contraction, I would always think about first a really big breath, going, breathing in, filling my lungs, filling my whole body with oxygen, and then releasing and breathing in and releasing. I quite like to breathe out through my mouth because that way you're sort of blowing away any tension, blowing away any discomfort, blowing away any anxiety. So getting into that rhythmic deep breathing is going to make an enormous, enormous difference. When you're actually in labour, you can't control what's going on. Not really. It's kind of a blueprint's already written. Your body already knows what to do. And the environment is going to have an impact on how your body responds. However, the one thing you can always control is your breathing. So if you think about it, at any given time in life, if you can control your breathing, you're going to stay calmer, feel more in control and be able to get back on track with what you're doing. So when you're thinking of your breathing for labour, just think about the rhythmic, deep, calm breathing. You can also add in other techniques along the way. So you can include some sort of mental technique to, to go alongside your breathing. So that might be counting, for example. I remember with all of my labours, I used to count. And I think it's such a common thing. And the women that I've worked with as a doula, I've also found the same, that counting is really, really effective. So you could breathe in, count one, and out. Two, and out. Or you might want to count one, two, three, four. It really doesn't matter. I remember working with one lady as a doula and um, unlike most women, she counted out loud. I always used to count in my head and most other women tend to count in their head, but she counted out loud. And she would count one in, one out, one in, one out. And then as the contractions became more intense, her counting became longer because the contraction was getting longer. And at the end of each contraction, she was smiling. 
And I said, well, at one point I said, yeah, what are you smiling at? And she said, I just want to see how much further I can get with the next contraction. I want to see how much further in numbers I can get. I want to get to 30 in the next contraction. So that way she was using her breathing, using her counting, but also using it as another coping strategy of even looking forward to the contraction. So using your breathing with counting can be really, really effective. Another thing you can do is using your breathing with some visualisation. So another client that I worked with as a doula used breathing while she was imagining walking down steps. She used to live in Cornwall many years ago and she lived on top of a cliff and at the bottom was this beautiful little cove. So in her labour she would imagine walking down the steps and she was holding a tea light, a little, you know, those tea candle things. And every contraction she'd get down to the bottom, she'd place the tea light on the, on the surface of the, the beach and walk back up again. So she was using her visualisation with her breathing. And then as her labour progressed, she had more and more candle lights on the beach. And she just, you know, again, was looking forward to the next one so she could go down to her beach and put another candle down. So there are a couple of little tips and techniques that you could use to make sure that you're breathing really, really effectively during labour. Thanks very much. My name is Maggie Howell. If you want to know more about the techniques that I teach, then click on the links and you can find out more. Take care for now. Bye.